right, this is the sign. I'm sure most of you saw it. Horses leave hoof prints on your heart. Okay. I already went ahead and did the bow. I wanted this to look more country. Farmhouse. Hi, Judy. How are you? So I already went and did that. I've got, um, what is that, four inch in the back. But I wanted to go with the country colors. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place our sign. Now let me show you a little trick. Sometimes you have wreaths that kind of collapse on your sign. Uh-oh. Is it working? Is it working okay? My whole screen just went green. It's like it took me forever to get on. Sorry about that. All right. So what I want to show you is a way to lift your wreath or your your sign so it's not falling into the wreath i use these little balls let me uh zoom you in they're from dollar tree do you see them they're just like wrapped you see them okay I'll tell you, technology is amazing, but when it doesn't work, boy, it can really mess you up. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to be placing these under the sign to lift the sign up. And because this is an all-natural wreath, this isn't going to be a big deal if it shows. All right. So I'm actually going to put one pipe cleaner through one side of it. You could do this with a pine cone. You could do this with just about anything. But it's just going to keep it up a little bit out of, you know. Actually, I'm going to put both pipe cleaners through it. I'm going to make the pipe cleaners disappear inside the wooden ball. And I forgot to bring that needle down. There. So what we're actually doing is just using that kind of like a pedestal on top of the wreath sign. And then it's just going to hold it up a little. Okay. See that? Otherwise, it'd be deep down in here, and I don't want it that far down. So, I'm just giving it a little boost. I know, I had some technical difficulties, Dawn. Thank you. I'm so sorry. It was telling me that my Mevo was not connected, and it's like, it is connected. So I'm just showing everybody how you can use these little, if you're doing like a real natural wreath and you want your sign to kind of sit up off the wreath, I use these balls sometimes to um, just give it a little boost where I just stick the pipe cleaners through the balls and then the ball sits directly under the sign and then it sits up off the wreath. Okay. It's just another way for not burying the, the sign in the wreath. I appreciate you um, blessing my page if you could. Alright. Sometimes you have to read. But see, before it sat too flat. Now I've got, in, I've got it sitting up above. And because this is natural, it's not going to look out of place being there. See? You can still see a little bit of it right here. But it's just a way, just to give it a little boost. Okay? 
And I already did my bow. I've got five ribbons here. These five right here. I wanted it to look more country. And I want it to look wintery. Like I didn't want it to scream Christmas. All right. So we have our sign here up on our little pedestals, which are the little wooden balls from Dollar Tree. You can get them in bleached or dark. You could always paint these to match your wreath too. Okay, so that's a good tip for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so now I also have um, these three ornaments that I got. One is the cowboy boots. Um, I have I had these in my shop, and right now they're sold out. Okay, so then I got this. This came from, I think, Sims Pottery. These three here. Got cowboy boots, cowboy hat, and some um, horseshoes. There we go. So I'm not sure. I may put this here to kind of be right there in the middle. All right. I also have some greenery that has some some glitter. Like it looks almost like icy snow. I have some natural pine cones that I want to put in here. I have some cotton that I want to put in here. And I like these balls. I had originally chosen these, but these are real shiny. I wanted these to be more muted. So we've got those. All right. So I've got five of these picks to put in here. I think I'll start with those first. Okay. Should have taken all the things off. I was somewhat prepared until Mevo didn't want to show me. Okay. I actually have a lot of friends in the area who love horses and I've been trying to get them interested in a wreath class and maybe if they see this one they'll want to do one because in my classes I show you step by step you're not left on your own you don't have to make the bow on your own we go step by step like we do here I'm just going to start placing some of these till I figure out exactly where I want them. I think I want two down here by the bow. And you know, I usually don't do my bows down at the bottom. So I'm kind of changing it up today. And I think I want one in here. And maybe one in there. We're just going to place and then we'll see where we want to put everything. I actually thought this would kind of be cool right here. And maybe this over here. And then I have some pine cones. I think I'm liking it. Put a ball there. A ball there. Actually, maybe up there. And this down there. And then, then I'll use this to kind of fill in. I know this doesn't have a whole lot of, of stuff in it. My main goal was to make it look more country than it was to you know, like load it up. 
this was not, I was not um, wanting to load it up. I actually just wanted just some little bit, just give it a little bit of color. had these and I didn't this just screams Christmas when you add a poinsettia so I'm thinking maybe let me see I have some of the splatter mesh no but maybe up here because we got a lot going on down here so let's just see and then you tell me what you think Mainly this is just for color. Just pull off the, the um, ornaments and off the cotton. That's what that's there for. Maybe I'll just put two pieces there too. I wanted it to have the colors of the season, but not scream, this is Christmas. And then I have some of these, if I want to put some of that in. I think I got this at Michael's. I don't know if... It would be better to ditch the mesh and just use this because that looks more natural and like I said I think that's the look I'm going for okay. a few more pieces of that yeah this was definitely Michael's it's called bush grebe or geeb I think this is better than the mesh because it just gives it a little bit of dimension and a little pop of red color and you don't really need a whole lot of it just making little like clusters here and then I'll put that in there I'll turn it around you tell me what you think Oops, got roly poly balls. See, the sign has red, it has brown, and then it has like this rustic looking color. So, that is pretty much why I chose what I chose to go on here. So we've captured the brown, we've captured the red, added little pops of white to kind of go with the ribbon, and then these the cowboy boots will sit there. Maybe we'll try and get them up in there. They're kind of heavy. So see, that's another reason why I use these balls under the sign, to kind of handle the weight of this being on top of it also. Because if I didn't have something under there, this would just weigh it down even more. Anybody have any comments on what you think so far? No comments? I mean, I could... 
these up in here. But again, I just feel like it's weighting it down. Whereas here, it sat on top of that little cushion that I gave it. All right, I'm just going to start gluing. I think that'll be the best. I'll just take each section out and do one at a time. If you could just comment and let me know you can still see the comments, that would be great. Because <laughs> I'm not sure you're you're seeing me. Thank you, Dawn. <laughs> Thanks, Connie. It's that time of year, you know. I need more glue sticks, and of course, they're under my computer in the tin that it sits up on. Oh no, okay, they're not, they're over here. I was gonna say, no, don't tell me they're upstairs. I kind of cheated though guys because I kind of had it like worked out in my mind and I was playing with it for a while earlier. Sometimes I just hate going back and forth when I don't know what I want. I feel like I'm wasting everybody's time. Hi Sandra, welcome. Do any of you have small dogs? Big dogs, happy dogs, mean dogs. I had a real sad situation happen to one of my puppy parents. They um, had their dog walking in the neighborhood as usual, just, you know, tagging along, not bothering anybody right alongside them and they were near a neighbor's house and the neighbor's dog came out and attacked the little dog and they couldn't save it. So I'm just trying to remind everyone please, please, please if you have little dogs I don't care how familiar they are with the neighborhood or your neighbors keep them on a leash with a harness because the minute you see danger coming you can pull them up thank you connie oh yeah i breed yorkies and this is one that i sold them she was nine years old and she's always walked off leash in the neighborhood and was in the neighbor's yard and the dog I guess was threatened by that and took off after the dog and did a number on the dog before she could even rescue it and they couldn't save it so I'm just telling everybody, please don't even take a chance. Keep your dogs on a leash. I don't care how familiar they are with the other dogs. I've had numerous calls from people saying, oh, they always got used to the big neighbor dog and the neighbor dog got ticked off. Hi, Rachel. How are you, hon? 
it's just not something you want to go through. Now I may have to glue that to that to get it to stay. I'll attach it to the pipe cleaner. For those of you just joining, we actually used a couple of these balls underneath the sign to support it and make it sit up higher in the wreath. We may have to still put something in here because now we didn't go too high with it. But now where this is sitting, we still need something. So let me grab two more of those. Kathy. Yeah, just one more in there. So the ornaments are a little heavy, so they needed to be really supported. And I knew that I wanted them with the sign. Might as well put one of these in there, too. Moving right along, I don't see your comments. I will go back at the end, so don't think I've abandoned you. What did I put over here with this? Okay. So that's going to go there. Never think your dogs are safe. They need to be on a leash. And a harness is good because you can just pull them right up and protect them. It's not going to hurt or collapse their trachea. They're too important. Hello, Miss Pearl. Girl, you get up early and get going on a Sunday. Right? I loved watching, though. And I swear, you, are, you and I are on the same wavelength. <laughs> I had already planned on doing that snowman. And it's like she's doing a snowman. Great. I kind of took him right out of there. Okay. We're going to think on that a minute. I had it in there before I got all that stuff in there. Now doesn't look like it's going to fit where I wanted it. And we use these to hoist the sign up and give the sign a little height off the wreath because these are weighing it down some. So we've got these little wooden Dollar Tree balls under here because they're natural looking. So it's not going to look bad with this wreath. I know, right? I took her to the hospital and said that the her spine and everything, and I mean, 
she has three children. She bought Marley when she was pregnant with her first daughter, and it just broke my heart. I mean, those little girls witnessed that whole thing happening. And her little and her daughters are the sweetest little things, and I am just heartbroken for the whole family. I mean, Marley was one of a kind. I mean, she was the best dog. And my heart just goes out to them right now. I mean, Marley listened. She she was raised right. But you cannot, you cannot, I don't care how often the dogs are friendly with your dog, you cannot take the chance. It's just too dangerous. We are creating a horse, a country horse wintry wreath. And I'll tell you what, I tried to look up horse wreath just to kind of get an idea. I, I kind of like to look so I don't do what other people are doing. All I found were horse heads. Nobody makes a, a horse lover's wreath that I could find. So, so we're doing it. It's so hard to not make what everybody else is making. Because we all shop at the same places. We all are doing our wreaths at the same time. Still not sold on those. Oh wait. Thank you. All right, now we're gonna try and get these cowboy boots on here. So, this wreath is very full, but it's real floppy. So I'm gonna glue, I think, the tip to the top of that pipe cleaner. Y'all don't mind blessing them my peach. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> I don't want to be the first one, though. But. I think right there, just a spot of glue. I do too. I <laughs> yesterday I am making a, an elf doll, and I have him all the way down to his face. And do you think I can figure out how I want his? I don't want his face to look trashy. I want it to look nice, and I'm having a real hard time trying to create this elf face. And then I have a an elf, just the face that I'm doing. So I'm still working on that. And then I have an angel in the works. And then what else was I doing? Like it just, my head just goes constantly. Sometimes I'll wake up and I can't get back to sleep and then I can't turn off my brain. You guys ever have that? creative brain where you can't turn it off, that's me. And if y'all didn't see my post, my son and his wife revealed they're having a baby boy in February, February 29th leap year. Okay. I need two more 
four pieces of cotton. I think it's looking country enough. A little disheveled. There we go. Well. but then it gets furry. There. Good, then I don't feel like I'm the only one on the planet <laughs> who can't turn her brain off. That's what threw me off. I used the bigger one up there. I wanted the littler one. There we go. Knew something didn't look right. Okay. Now, finish up here, 
and then figure out where our balls are going. Maybe we don't need these. I don't know. Maybe that's better. So do we put the horseshoe up top or sitting on top of the bow? That's where we're at now. We need ideas here or up here. What's your thought? Hello, Jonathan. We're so glad you're back. Jonathan's in Lori's group, Hardworking Mom. Okay, where do we want to put the horseshoes? On the bow? here or up in here put that ball there and then put the other one over here what are your thoughts top Okay, Teresa says top. Up on top, Jeannie. Jonathan says top. So, do I put that there? Or do I leave the balls out? Balls in, balls out. Horseshoes on top. We can do that. And that's good because this pick, the um, the stem of it is really stiff, so I will have no trouble. it in place. We'll have no trouble if I just learn how to tie. Mm. 
And don't forget, we have a new design group. Eight designers for the price of one. We got Carla Young. We've got myself. We've got Rita. We've got Don Sanchez. We've got Susan Flannery. We've got Sandy Parsons. We've got LaVon. And we've got um, Dawn from Dawn's Rethacor. Or Rethacor by Dawn, excuse me. What do we think? Balls or no balls? Come on, am I am I putting everybody to sleep? Are you awake? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Does it really need them or doesn't it? I don't know if it needs a little bit of this. We tried it before. Just as a little filler. I don't know. What you think, Jonathan? need any of that or do we lose that too Jeannie how's my girl I haven't seen her in ages I think that's it Suggestions. Anybody home? I think it does need the balls. I think we're kind of good without them. I'll put a spot of glue here to keep that up there. Hi, Gigi. Mama Robin misses you. You don't come to see me. I don't know. This cotton is starting to bug me right here, though, with the with the horse with the horseshoes right there. I don't know. I don't know if you heard, Jeannie. Keep her on a leash. Keep her away from other dogs, no matter how familiar she is with them. Because my puppy parents just lost one of their dogs last night because an extra neighbor's dog just tore it to shreds. So, please be careful. They're bigger and they're familiar with them. It doesn't matter if they can still hurt them. And it happened in front of our children. Those children are devastated. I 
hear it way too often. This is not, that's not agreeing with me. I don't know why. Maybe if I bring it up this way. to that one, honey. Okay, let's try this. We're going to move it around. Put some there, put some there, put some there. It's still not looking right. Yeah. Maybe it has to be up more. up in here more. What, with it like that? Is that what you mean? Not right. That. Well, that's what it needed. Just a little bit of pop behind there. Let's get that going that way. better. Alright. How are we looking? Okay, I think I done put everybody to sleep, right? Oh, thank you.
think that's it. It's like everything's secure. Do the shape test. Okay. We need to secure this guy just a little bit more. So I'm going to glue a half a pipe cleaner underneath and just secure it a little better. Thank you, Rachel. Let that dry a minute. I love the colors in the bow. It just goes with everything on the wreath. This is actually signature ribbon here, Jeannie. That I got from Yvonne's party. Only thing is, it never stays on the, the paper, the cardboard sides never stay on. They always pop off. But it's great ribbon, real nice and stiff. Okay, that's glued long enough. So let's just secure it a little better so it doesn't go wobbly on us. That doesn't stay. I will use some um, twine and tie it down. Tequila, we're all done. We did a horse lover's wreath. And we used these balls to put underneath the sign. We threaded the pipe cleaners through it. These ornaments are really heavy, so this just kept the sign from sinking into the wreath. So we're all done. What do you think? I think if I was a horse lover, I'd like this wreath. Got your cowboy hat, cowboy boots, got your horseshoes. Okay, hon. No problem. Thank you. All right, I think we're golden. You guys see what we did in our private group? These are a decal that I showed everybody how to make. Isn't that cool? So anytime you have a design and you don't want to do it on your Cricut and you have tons of colors in it, so much easier to do it on a decal. That's just one of the many things we've done in our group. We've done wreaths, we've done painting, we've gone over chalk couture, we've gone over paint brushes, what kind of paint to use, what streaks, what doesn't. We've made um, arrangements. Tequila did a mailbox um, 
swag, lots and lots of things. And we do them on a Zoom call, so it's not like on here where we're, I'm talking, you're typing. We're face-to-face -face on a Zoom call. We have eight designers in the group. So if you're interested, let me know. It's a paid group. You can opt out at any time. And I shared my gnomes in there. So there's a lot of things I don't do on my lives that I share in there only. So, uh-oh, these look good too. <laughs> no, no, I won't. <laughs> or will I? These look good too. Nope, different color. I, I love my beads. I, I always like to throw beads in on stuff. I don't know why. Just me. All right, guys, we're done. Um, look for me next Monday night, unless you're in our group. In our group, we meet Mondays and Fridays. It's always recorded, so if you can't, you can't be there, you can always go back. I think I am going to list this on Facebook so everybody can see it first, and then. Um, Put it on my Etsy site. I know I haven't put my gnomes on there. Posted a picture today. So um, a few are going out the door today and a bunch are going out tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye. Stay safe. Keep your pets safe. And um, have a good rest of the day. And I appreciate you joining me. All right. Have a good day. Thank you.